Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain what vested transfers are. Vested transfers are transfers that are released with a linear schedule. This is called linear vesting, or they are all released after a specific time period, and this is called cliff vesting. But the best way to understand vested transfer is to do a demonstration. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and you're interested in, drop us a message. Here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface. We are currently connected to an RPC node on the West End network. West End is a testnet and we are dealing with tokens that do not carry any economic value. So in here we have three injected accounts. These are accounts that have been created um, using the browser extension. In order to do a vested transfer, we cannot use the basic send button. We need to go under the developer menu under extrinsic. Then we have to select um, the account we want to use, in this case then. We have to select also the palette, in this case is uh, the vesting palette. Then we need to select the type of function in this palette that we want we want to use and this is a vested transfer the receiver is frank and now here we can uh, decide if you want to do a linear vesting or a cliff vesting as i said a cliff vesting is uh, when the funds are released uh, after a specific time period which is defined with um, the block number and they are all released together. So in this case, we want to, um, under locked, we need to specify the number of uh, tokens in a Planck unit. In this case, we can just uh, specify one Western token. Per block, it means the number of tokens that should be released um, after each block. And in cliff vesting, we need to put the whole amount. And the starting block is actually the block when all these funds will be released. In this case, we can see here the number of blocks. Um, we can specify a block number that is a little bit in the future from now. And remember that the block is added every six seconds. So when we are happy with the, the number, the starting block number, we know that when this uh, block will be produced, all these tokens will be released all at once. We can click Submit Transaction. We can sign with Dan. The Polkadot browser extension will display some information. We are doing a vesting vested transfer. And uh, when we are happy with uh, this extrinsic that we are signing, we can uh, sign the transaction. All right, everything successful. If you go back to the accounts, we can now see that uh, Frank has zero vested tokens, uh, zero Westies, West End tokens. And uh, here we can see that uh, there is actually one West End token that is vested and uh, it will be released in three minutes and 30 seconds. So we can see that this is a uh, cliff vesting because uh, we can see the schedule is one West End token per block and uh, we have one Western token vested. So um, this one Western token will be released all at once. And the block number will be the 13,689,151. Here we can also see that uh, we have a lock and this is a vesting lock of one Western tokens. This means that uh, after the cliff vesting, we will have this lock that can be unlocked. So we can free this uh, one Western token and we can use these tokens as a free balance to transfer and do whatever we want on the blockchain. We can see there are 12 seconds left. So the vesting is uh, almost done. And now we can see that we have one Western token that can be unlocked. And this is actually written in this message available to be unlocked. So um, we have this uh, lock here. What we can do is go here, then unlock vested amount. We will sign with Frank. The Polkadot browser extension will display some information that we are unlocking vested funds. 
if we are uh, okay with the extrinsic that we are signing, we can sign the transaction. We don't have anymore the vesting lock and we have six uh, plus Western tokens because we gain this uh, one Western token that we received with the cliff vesting. Now what we can uh, do is a linear vesting. We do the same thing. We go under developer extrinsic. We select the account, then it's okay. Then we go and we select the vesting palette. We also select the vested transfer function. The receiver is always frank. The number of uh, locked tokens, so the amount of tokens that we would like to send with this uh, vested transfer is uh, one Western token in Planck units. Then now here, per block, we need to do a little bit of calculation because we want to send a linear vesting. So it will not receive all the token at once, but it will be able to receive uh, a fraction of uh, one Western token every block. So we need to understand how many tokens per block we need to release so that, for example, we can send the full amount in uh, 10 minutes. The process is uh, very simple. We know that uh, on average a block is produced every 6 seconds. So we want to send these funds in 10 minutes. What we want to do is uh, 10 minutes times 60 uh, seconds which gives us how many seconds we have in 10 minutes, divided by 6, which is uh, the amount of time to produce a block. And uh, here we have the number of uh, blocks that, um, that we need. So we need to divide the one Western tokens in Planck units uh, by 100, and we will uh, get the number of tokens that uh, will be released every block. So this is the amount of uh, Western tokens in Planck unit, that we need to release every block and the starting block we can uh, select some uh, block in the near future all right after selecting the block number we know that um, after this block the vesting schedule will start and it will release this amount of western tokens every block so that in after 10 minutes we will have the full western tokens transferred to frank so we can submit the transaction, we can uh, sign and submit with them. The browser extension will display us once again information about uh, the extrinsic we are signing. If we are happy with it, we can sign and submit. Everything is successful. We go back to the accounts tab, we go to Frank, and we can see we have another schedule. We have one Western token that is locked uh, via vesting. And uh, the, vesting the vested schedule will start in uh, 12 minutes from now. And uh, it will release at the end one Western token that is vested. And uh, every block, 10 milli Western tokens will be released. So remember that we put the 250. So when this number will reach 250, the vesting schedule will start. So the vesting schedule still uh, didn't start yet, and that's why we can see the 12 minutes instead of 10. But uh, we can wait a little bit and uh, we'll get back when uh, the vesting schedule starts. We can see we are almost there. If we go on the schedule, we can see almost 10 minutes. All right, the vesting schedule started right now. We can see that uh, with increasing time, the available Western tokens to be unlocked will increase after every block by uh, 10 milli Western tokens. And in 10 minutes from now, nine minutes and a half, one Western token will be fully unlocked. We can see now we already vested 0.5 Western tokens and there are five minutes left, which means that we are half away of the vesting schedule. And we can see that uh, 100 blocks later, we received the one Western token, the vesting schedule finished, and uh, one Western token is available to be unlocked. So we can go here, unlock vested amount, and we sign and submit using Frank account. We successfully unlocked the vested amount. All right, 
I hope you learned something today about uh, vested transfer, cliff vesting and linear vesting. Thank you for watching and uh, I see you in another video.